Hi you guys, it's Marcy Sauter, the Rusty Blonde. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on to show you guys the next step in the process for when you are making your own dashboards, die cuts, and page markers. For those of you who haven't seen it, I created a video on how to make planner dashboards and die cuts. And I will link that up above so that you guys can watch that first if you would like to know how. And then this is going to be part two of that video series. I'm gonna start by going over what you need in order to do this part of the process. The first thing you need is cardstock. I just buy a premium cardstock. This one happens to be 110 pound. Then you need your thermal laminating pouches. I buy mine off of Amazon because it's convenient. You need some sort of paper cutter. This is what I use. They do make little scrapbooking ones that are like this size or something like that. Obviously we'll need your laminator. I also purchased mine off of Amazon. And you need your hole puncher for your day planner. This has a variety of options on it but this has the personal agenda size, which is mine. I have the Louis Vuitton MM Agenda, and I use mine as a cash wallet system along with my planning and such. Then I have this uh, corner hole punch. This, not a hole punch, a corner rounder. I don't know what it's called, but it gives your, let me come in close so you can see. So this, basically you put the edge of your paper in and it rounds the corner and there's three different options. So I use this so that the dashboard and such in my planner doesn't have the pokey sharp edges. Then you just need scissors and a little pencil. With that being said, I have now printed um, my dashboards and die cuts, what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm just gonna grab those and show you that. Again, the standard dashboard size is three and a half by six and three quarter inches. I, however, like mine a little bit larger. I print mine at four by six and three quarter inches. I like them a little bit wider. I've printed that. For the page marker, I'm going to go ahead and do this guy. Thought that was cute. So this will be a page mar marker, which will cut here, and then it'll kind of come down, and then I'll hole punch it here. And I'll show you the whole process. And then these are the couple die cuts I'm going to be doing today as well. So with that being said, we can jump right in, and I will show you the next step in the process on how to make your own dashboards and die cuts at home without having a Cricut or any sort of silhouette machine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys, this is my Louis Vuitton MM Agenda. It's also equivalent to the personal size planner. And this is the size of the dashboard we're going to be making. These are little die cuts that I'm gonna show you how to complete. And then this is the a type of page marker that I'm gonna show you how to make. If you notice, it has the actual marker here that we're gonna cut out, the silhouette. And then I'm going to show you how to cut and measure in your page marker so that you have the little edges sticking out of the side, the top, and the bottom. All right, so we are going to start cutting out our die cuts, and this is my page marker. So the first thing is I'm just going to cut them into pieces. Now for this one here, I am not keeping the lid. I just want the actual lipstick. And I leave a small little edge, like so. And 
And I don't do precise cutting either because I don't have a machine and I don't want to use a razor blade, but that is an option. You can use a mat and a razor blade to do precise and detailed cutting. I don't. I just kind of go around like so. So there's the first one. Now I'm going to get the second one and do the same thing. We're just going to start, cut, have a little border around the edge. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me and this is going to be die cut number two. Okay, so we have a lipstick and we have these little bags. Moving on, now we're going to cut out our page marker. And I'm cutting all of the excess off just so that it's easier for me to handle. And then you're just going to start. Okay, so then you'll double check all of your edging. Make sure you like it. I'm going to cut a little bit more in this section here. So I think that's good. And now we're going to move on and cut the dashboard. Okay, so now I have my dashboard. I printed mine a little larger than my four inches by six and three quarters, and that's because I like to do no edge on the side. And what I mean by that is the picture, like right here, there's this little 0.25 margin, and I like to cut that off. So I do print mine a hair larger, and then I just measure it as I go using my board here. If you have a swing line or any sort of paper cutter, they come with measurements here and then obviously down here and then also in the center here. So you just kind of have to measure and cut. So the first thing I'm going to do, I also know that when I printed this on my screen, I knew that I had like under a half an inch on each side. That's how it was centered. And I want both of her feet in the image. So I'll probably be cutting about here and then I'll be cutting above this black arch here. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this side off. So you just make sure your paper is lined up here on this edge and that you're where you wanna cut and you make your first slice. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the top. See, there's my top cut. Now I'll go ahead and do the bottom. And then this is where I want to make sure from the top where I cut to wherever I cut on the bottom is going to be six and three quarter inches. So that is there and it should be right under her feet where I want it. And it is. So her feet did not get cut off and I still have a nice little edge at the top and that's how I want it. The last step is to cut off this edge here. And this is again on your last cut, that's where you're going to measure. I need it at four inches. Okay, so I line that up with the four. I make my cut. And now I have my perfect four by six and three quarter inch dashboard. Okay, so I have my laminating sheet here. I'll put my dashboard first. 
and I just push it in as far as it'll go. Make sure it's straight. And I'm going to push it to the top to where I don't have to cut two edges. Next, okay, when you are doing page markers, you have to take into consideration the amount of space you need here for rings. Because if you put it here, you won't have any room to clip this in your ring binder. So you need to take that into consideration. And how I measure that... I'm going to get my planner and go to the one I've already done. And I know that she, I know where she's sitting. And so I kind of want this off centered. Okay. So I think I want this kind of like that to where the bottom's hanging off a hair and then the top is hanging up a bit. So if you need to, you can take your marker out. And you can use this as a guide when placing. So I know that I can put this here and pretty much I will have that much space for hole punching, which is fine. I have enough here for this edge and enough here for hole punching. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there and then I'm going to just add, slip in my two little die cuts so that my pieces don't move in my sheet, I take just a plain piece of cardstock and I slip it underneath. And then obviously, again, you're gonna feed it through the machine at this sealed edge. Okay, and then I just hold my cardstock here, like so so that it supports the little die cuts in there. And this just comes out the edge. Once it's supported, I move that. Okay, so I wanna show you that these did slip or maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but it's pretty close to my lamp, but that's okay. They both got sealed and I have enough cutting space, but I think I was a little distracted trying to make sure it didn't happen and ah, it happened a little bit. So anyways, I'm just gonna run that through one more time and then we'll be ready to cut out our pieces. So we're gonna take our dashboard and cut it out. Now I can show you this guy. This is the corner punch, and this is what I'm talking about. If you see on this edge here, that corner edge is rounded, this side is not. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna slip it in and just punch, and it rounded the corner for me. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. You just stick it in and punch, and now all of your corners, oh, I have to round this one too. So now I have nice rounded corners for my dashboard. Now you can take your hole puncher and I'll just show you, this is the one from out of my planner and you can line it up and it lines up perfectly. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I just put, I use a whiteout marker and I just go through and I only do this just for my sake. You don't have to do this. I just like to so I have an idea when I'm putting it in the hole puncher where my holes are. Okay, so I just dot it like that. Then you get your hole puncher and you're gonna set it to personal. Mine's already set there so I don't have to make any adjustments. So then you just slip this in then you just hole punch it. So now you have your cute little dashboard ready to go. The last step I do is I take my scissors and I cut little tiny slits in mine. 
See these slits? And that way you don't have to use your rings all the time to open and close. You can pop them in and pop them out. So I'm sure they have a machine that does this. I just choose to freehand mine. So I just make, if you saw that, I cut twice and make my own little slit. So I cut once, I move it over a hair and cut it one more time. So now I have my dashboard all ready to go. And this is what it looks like popping it in your planner. Okay, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, what a cute dashboard that is. Okay, and that's what I mean by popping in and out. So I'm gonna put my original one back in. And for those of you who don't know, I have monthly planner, I have a whole planner playlist section and I decorate my planner on the first of each month. And um, I have videos on that, so I can link those up above as well. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two little pieces, these die cuts, cut these out, and then we'll do this guy. Now, I just leave a small border. You do not want to cut where it's sealed. And I just cut these all the way around. Okay, so there's the first die cut. Moving on to the lipstick. Okay, second die cut is done. They turned out very, very, very cute. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this guy. So again, I wanted her to sit like that. So this is where I take my whiteout marker if she's like that, I want that, and I'm going to mark these holes. Now, if you don't have one already made, then you have to, you know, measure it out, which it's a lot better to cut less at first than it is to cut more. Because if you cut it too small, then you either have to deal with it or make a whole new one. If you cut it large, you can continue cutting. So the next thing I do is I just kind of mark the outside where I want to cut. So it kind of gives you like a little guideline of how you want yours cut. And I know that I left a little bit of space so I can cut mine on the inner side of these marks and be just fine. So let's start. I'm going to start on this corner here. You may have to mark yours or whatever. It's just because I've done it before, but you know, you don't want it to be all crooked and wonky. Okay, and I'm just gonna follow this, my dotted line, kind of round the corners and go down. Okay. 
And this I'm going to flip over so I can do that little edge. Like so. Then at this point, if you want, you can use the um, your paper cutter and slice the edge, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use this as my guide. I'm pretty darn close to being straight. Pretty darn close. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the hole puncher now. And you're just going to line up the black dots. I look in the back here and just make sure it looks right to what I'm doing. Okay. Like so. Wipe off any of the marks. And then the next thing I'm going to do is now that I have it hole punched, I'm going to trim this edge a little closer to the holes. Look what happened. The top hole, I wasn't paying attention and it cut a little nook out of that. Now, luckily it did not go into the edge, but I definitely have to correct that in my cutting. Okay, so there it is. I take this and I cut little tiny slits in it. Okay. Now we can slip this in. I think that turned out really cute. I'm very happy with it. So the other thing is I can always move this to somewhere else as well. Super cute. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. I hope that made sense and, oh, you guys can, it can help you create your own at home. But there's the dashboard. And then here is the, I'll put her back so you can see the look I wanted. There's your page marker. And then let me slip in the little die cuts so you can see them in perspective. So there are the cute little bags. And there you can add a little lipstick so fun so anyways there you have it that's how you do your own die cuts and your own dashboards and page markers to personalize your planner a little bit more okay thank you so much for watching I'm also going to be doing a video on how to make your own clear cash envelopes so all of mine were purchased from Amazon I'll show them here and mine are top loading, but they're kind of pricey. And since COVID everything's gone up a little bit. So I've been playing around and I figured out how to make my own side loading cash envelopes for your personal size planner. So look for that video as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.